What's up everybody, this is Justin Wong and a lot of people have been asking me about just joysticks or what are my favorite joysticks. So I decided to make a video of all the joysticks that I personally have used before and that I enjoy using and stuff like that. Obviously it's not gonna show every joystick that I currently own, which is a lot, but we'll show off the things that we have used before on stream, tournaments, um, videos, and etc. So make sure you guys stay tuned, enjoy these sticks, let me know if you guys own some of these, and yeah, I mean, enjoy. The hitbox, the infamous hitbox. I know a lot of people actually are interested in the hitbox. We did a video about it, it definitely hit over like 100k about my hitbox tutorial and how to use it. And personally, I do have a lot of fun using the stick. I actually really thought of considering using this as a as a, a tournament choice. I actually brought a hitbox with me to a tournament and used it on my, my, my pool matches. You know what I mean? Just to try it out in the actual tournament playing it and I won my pool. But yeah, I mean, really, really, I really do enjoy the hitbox controller actually. Here we are with the Vulix. This is a very beautiful Vulix. I would say this is kind of like the EX version, this the second one, because usually it's supposed to be red. So we got this like special one that's blue. And you know, it's from Hori, right? Licensed by Hori. And uh, it's pretty much it resembles like the Taito Station. If you guys don't know what Taito Station is, it's a Japanese arcade. And those Japanese arcade fighting cabinets is trying to replicate that type of style. It's really nice. Right, the buns are good. Start buns right here, which is kind of what the, the the standard where things are, right? And joysticks right here too. So that's that's one of the really good sticks right here for sure. This right here is another Hori stick. I really like this one just because it has a more of like that Astro layout. It re really does remind me of Japan, a more portable version, like a lesser version of the Vulix, a really big one that you saw earlier. And you know, it's really nice. I like the, how the, the angles of the buttons goes right here, start buttons over here. And to be honest, it's really what the layout's really selling me for, for this Hori stick right here. The old school stick. I would say this is a very old school stick, like in terms of like the brand Mad Cats. Obviously you guys remember the Mad Cat TE6 that were really selling out during the Street Fighter 4 and how they had different models, different versions. So this is definitely a Japanese version. This is from Japan and this is a great, to be honest, I really like this stick a lot. I definitely use this a lot when I was practicing a lot of Marvel. Um, so start selects up here and then this is the standard button layouts. For the 360 but yeah this stick is very nice mac Hats definitely did make some really good sticks for the ps3 and 360 era for sure so we haven't used the hitbox cross up yet but i think we should add this in the video anyway just because i'm very curious actually on it um i'll probably do a video about this just just joystick particular to see how it's like functions how it used what's the benefits what's like really difficult about it but yeah, I mean, let me know if you guys have tried to cross up here, you guys are interested. Right? Obviously you have the joysticks here, but this is also like directional. These are the directional buttons, right down, left, up, right, and obviously the buttons. So I'm actually curious on that one as well too. This is obviously a, a Kamba Obsidian, but it's also a special design stick. Big shout out to Kamba. Um, this is actually uh, my wedding stick. I actually gave this stick out to my groomsmen. But besides this uh, this layout, this artwork, we gotta talk about, you know, obviously the Combo City. And the Combo City is a very popular choice for current sticks as well. I used it for a lot for my tournaments um, back in the day. I would say in 2018, this is definitely the stick I used in terms of like getting the Capcom Cup, making a fifth place. I definitely traveled with the Obsidian like the whole single time. So Combi Obsidian is definitely a good choice if you're trying to like get a good stick but not trying to spend too much money. Combi Obsidian is the one for sure. I mean, when it comes to joysticks for like the current mo uh, modern generation, we have to talk about Victrix, right? Victrix is definitely, I would say, probably the best stick on the market right now. Um, we were sponsored by them last year, obviously. And I mean, look at it, it's so beautiful. It's really good weight. And the fact that you're able to like customize your your stick with like a graphic and everything. So it kind of replaces of like the current trends of like putting a panel. It's a laser engrave, right? So it's very like designable. It's kind of like a like a Gucci or Prada version of a joystick. It is pricey for sure, but I mean, look at that. Look at that Bison. It's collector's edition, 1994, 123 out of 250. 
the Chung Li version as well too. Like, come on, man! They got Ryu and Ken out there. Pretty sure he's gonna do more characters, but yeah, the Victrix Sticks is definitely a solid choice for sure. This is the the old Razor Stick for the 360, and this one I actually won Evo with for Marvel 3 at 2014. So you know, already know we gotta keep this stick. I mean, I do like this stick a lot. This is also another interesting stick. This is called the Mix Box. It kind of uses the keyboard functions of the controller. And I feel like if you guys are a fighting game player and you like never had a controller in your life or you never wanted to use a joystick, but you were a keyboard warrior, I would say this is probably what you want to use as a keyboard warrior because it has like pretty much like the WASD right here. Well, not really the D, but you know what I mean. Like the top, down, left, right. And it's pretty good too. I made a video about this one as well. So if you guys want, you could check it out more in depth one in the description below. This is the Etoki stick. And this is a Korean stick. And right now, I'm gonna say this is my favorite stick actually at the moment. I use a stick for my current streams, my current matches. Um, when anytime I'm playing, this is the stick I use because it's really heavy. Like it's, it's all full of metal. And it's actually very, very heavy, which is perfect for me because for fast movements and constant button pressing, it's not gonna slide on your lap out of your lap right so this is definitely my preferred stick at the moment and yeah anytime you see me a tournament right now if there is if it will happen again this is a stick man and look at it's shiny it's gold i mean not real gold but the gold color and it's it's clean man definitely clean definitely my stick of of, of this video 1000 percent the last relic this is the Dreamcast stick that I'd be using all these years before eSports, before Street Fighter 4 was a thing. Imagine you have to carry this big bulky thing to events, to airports, going to TSA to explain to him what is this giant piece of wood. This has gone through some battles. The back here is where you see all the, you know, you have to kind of unscrew everything. It's like literally like on some DIY type of thing. And yeah, I mean, this is, I feel like you can never get rid of this stick. This is gonna stay with me forever. The nostalgia stick, the moss stick. If you see one and you see a cheap, grab it because none of, not many exist in the world unless you personally own it. Thank you guys for watching the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, obviously, we you know we take a lot of clips from 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 Twitch. So if you want to, if you guys want to catch it live. Come on twitch.tv slash jwong with three G's. All the links is down below in the description. So I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. We're growing the YouTube channel. We're getting it better and better. So yeah, you know what I mean? Please like, share, subscribe, all that type of stuff. Also comment on the videos and let me know what kind of like suggestions you want me to make in terms of video, content, and everything. I'm trying to, you know, get 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 up there. So if you if you want to support the boy. You know what to do, man. You know what to do. We're trying to we try to get these YouTube videos out there. We're trying to get more people to understand fighting games, enjoy fighting games. But yeah, I mean, other than that, man, keep doing your thing. Stay safe, stay healthy. I love you guys and appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.